Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be sharing a story with you. The movie begins with a 17-year-old high school girl, Akira, sleeping in her classroom. She's then woken up by a classmate, Yoshizawa, who's secretly in love with her. He tries to talk to her, but she leaves and ignores him. In the next scene, we see Akira running on the street. And while she's running, a mini flashback tells us that Akira was a promising running athlete. But sadly, her dream of being a runner ended when she fell one day and suffered a severe injury during a race. Later, we find out that Akira works at a restaurant as a part-time waitress where Yoshizawa is also her co-worker, working in the kitchen. While Akira is working, she and her other co-workers notice their manager, Masami, getting scolded by some customers. One of the waitress calls Masami a loser for not standing up for himself and always apologizing to customers. She then starts gossiping about him where it's revealed that Masami is a 45-year-old man who's divorced and has a son. After a few hours, another guy named Kase makes a meal for Akira in hopes to also win her heart. But she coldly thanks him and walks away, leaving him with a one-sided love. She then goes to the staff room to eat her meal alone. But just then, Masami comes in and praises her for her good work during lunch service. He then proceeds to work on his computer, and then she strangely stares at him. She then approaches him and gives him a list of dates she plans to work on. While Masami's looking at these, Akira continues staring at him, weirdly. This freaks him out, so he tells her not to do that, but she denies staring at him and leaves anxiously. Later on, Akira goes to the staff room for her meal again. As she's settling down, she sees Masami's shirt on the chair, saying that no one's around. She goes and sniffs it, but just then, Masami catches her and laughs at his bad timing. Akira gets defensive and quickly tells him that he's not stinky. But just before Masami can question her, one of the waitresses tells him that one of their customers has left his phone behind. While looking for this customer, they spot him riding away on a bike. Being a previous runner, Akira takes that phone and chases after this dude. She easily catches up with him and returns his phone. However, when she gets back to the restaurant, Akira falls to the ground due to her past injury. This causes Masami to be concerned, so he quickly drives her to the hospital. Now at the hospital, the doctor tells them both that Akira will be alright, but would require crutches for a few days. During this time, Masami also learns the history behind her running injury. So back at home, Akira reminisces about how her manager held her earlier and gets all flustered by it. The next morning, Akira, now on crutches, goes out to get some food, but just then she sees Masami and calls out to him. After he runs to her, he tells her that he felt bad for not taking care of her well enough, so he wanted to apologize to her mother for all the trouble he caused. But Akira tells him that her mother isn't home, so the two end up going to lunch together instead. During lunch, Masami asks how she is and quickly checks her leg, but he sees her nails red and immediately thinks Akira's bleeding. But she laughs and tells him it's just nail polish. Embarrassed, Masami goes to get some drinks for the both of them. When he gets back, he gives her a black coffee, but she likes it with milk, so he magically makes some cream appear. This causes Akira to be shocked and mesmerized, so she confesses her feelings for him. But Masami's thinking she means it in a friendly way and thanks her for not hating him in the restaurant like the other waitresses, which leaves Akira disappointed. Now at school, Akira goes to find her old running friends at the field. Missing hanging out with her, they all ask if they can go eat at the restaurant where she works at. But somehow she gets all anxious and tells them that they can't come and tells them to meet some other time. Now after school, Akira recalls the time when she fell and had her injury that crushed her running dreams causing her to be depressed. It's then revealed that during her depressed days, she'd visited the current restaurant she's working at and had met Masami, who saw her all sad and decided to give her a free cup of coffee. He also did the same magic trick on her and told her that everything was gonna be okay, comforting her. After this flashback, she goes to the restaurant to find Masami. However, she doesn't quite go inside the building, so Masami quickly takes an umbrella and shelters her, hoping to bring her in. She goes and confesses to him once again and walks off, leaving Masami shocked and confused. So the next day, in the staff room, Masami and Akira share this awkward silence, but Akira breaks it by confessing to her manager once again and asking if he feels the same way about her. But just then, some of the other workers come into the room to ask Akira to hang out. Masami tries to get them all to go have a night out, but Akira refuses and says that she wants to stay back in the restaurant, so the workers leave. Now with the two alone once again, Masami offers to drive Akira home, 
In the car, he explains that he's just too old for her, but she tells him that she doesn't care and wants to be with him. She then somehow forces him to go on a date with her, and they plan to meet the next week. Now the next day, while Akira's in the staff room eating, Kase enters the room and sits with her. He notices her studying and asks if he can see what she's reading. But after she passes the book to him, he sees some drawings of the manager in that book. So Akira asks him not to tell anyone she has a crush on the manager. In return to keep her secret, he asks her to go on a date with him. On this date, Akira is casually dressed, not entertaining him too much. But during lunch, Kase catches her attention when he talks about Masami. He tells her that she's making a big mistake trying to date this old man. Well, that offends her, so she gets up and leaves, but just before she does, he tells her to think hard about her relationship with Masami. Finally, the big day comes, where Akira and Masami meet up for their date. After a movie and lunch, he brings her to a library, where they get to know each other a little more through the books they like, and the two go home after. Now one night, Akira and her friend head to a festival for this girl's night. At the festival, she sees Masami and his son, so quickly she approaches him. Their interaction causes her friend to be all worried, because she realizes that Akira's in love with an old man, and when Akira comes back, she starts questioning her about her relationship with Masami. But Akira tells her that it's just none of her business, so the two friends get into this fight, with the friend leaving in tears. Now another night at the restaurant, Akira accidentally drops some plates. So when she's on her break, Masami goes to talk to her to see if everything's alright. She tells him that she had just fought with a friend and says that she thinks she can no longer be friends with her anymore. But Masami imparts some words of wisdom on her, telling her that she'll regret not making up with her friend in the future. Now the next day, Akira's serving a customer her meal, but the customer, named Mizuki, tells her that she's from another school and is curious why she hasn't ran in races for so long. But Akira doesn't answer her and just leaves. However, the following day, Mizuki goes to find Akira again and reveals that she too had been injured before just like her and had managed to recover after she saw her running in one of her races. She promised herself that she would race with her one day and tells Akira to recover so they can race. But just then, Masami comes out and accidentally interrupts him, causing Mizuki to leave. In the staff room, Masami tries to hint to Akira to start practicing her running again by asking her if she really wants to work all these dates that she had given to him previously. But she tells him that she doesn't want to run anymore and leaves. Now the following day, Masami goes to a sports store to find some running shoes for Akira. Just then, Akira's friend sees this and tells him to buy the Nike shoes for better running performance. Masami, who doesn't know that the girl he's talking to knows Akira, asks her if people who have running injuries can run again. She tells him they can and leaves. Realizing that Masami's a kind man who cares a lot about Akira. Now, some days later at the restaurant, Akira finds out that Masami's sick. But just then, Akira's friend goes to tell her that Mizuki had just gotten the same time as her in the latest race and asks Akira to go back and race, but once again, she doesn't say anything. After work, Akira goes to find her manager and again, she asks if she can be together with him. But Masami tells her that being with him is trouble and she should look for someone her age. Akira then starts crying in this heartbreak, but Masami tells her that she'll thank him one day for this pain, as he knows it's the right thing for her to do. Masami then puts her in a cab, but just before she leaves, he asks her if she can teach his son how to run like her. She agrees to that and leaves. Now the following days, we can see Akira teaching Masami's son how to run. During a break, Masami tells her that she's fired from her job and tells her to do something else with her time. Akira gets touched by this and agrees to it in tears. Now unemployed, Akira starts training for runs and slowly starts winning races again in the following months. One day, while Masami's driving to work, he sees her training with her running mates. He gets out the car and calls to her. Akira, now a professional runner again, asks him if they're still friends. Masami tells her that they are, and she says, well, friends text each other. The movie ends with Masami and Akira smiling at one another. Always a pleasure having you guys around. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you had a good time today, and get ready for the next one.